Hello guys, my name is Dalaran and recently I released a video where I versed three rogues and got great responses. So I want to make another video on the same video describing in detail exactly what was my thought process while the 3v1 happened. I get opened up by a rogue, thinking it was a sub rogue, looking for find weakness and there it is. Now there's two rogues, combat readiness is the best choice, three rogues, I don't have a trinket anymore as I use it to try to get out of a stun, I need to vanish with heavy stun DRs. I vanish and I get blinded out of that. During the blind I am in vanish so I get to assess the situation and open up myself. I decide to choose one target that I'm going to be hammering on this whole time. And during that situation where I'm just building up combo points and building up procs, one of the rogues is out of position so I blind him out. While I'm hammering on my primary target he vanishes so I use kill and spree defensively. The kill and spree will allow me to, uh, to avoid as much damage as possible as I'll be staying LOSing from my target best I can. Plus with the combination of all the procs that I received while hammering on my first target, kill and spree was strong enough with full practical gear and all in chance to kill the other rogue. Because I use kill and spree defensively, I have still an array of defensive abilities in order to finish off the two remaining rogues and still I am going to be hammering on my main target. I get stunned but I'm happily sitting in combat readiness to avoid as much damage as possible and then I go for an evasion to avoid as much more damage as possible. I'm still low on health, I need to get a recuperate rolling. My primary target vanishes. I try to get him out with fan of knives. Stun DRs are back online, so stuns are going to be less susceptible to me. I get out, uh, recuperate as soon as possible with a warlock uh, health stone that I picked up at the beginning of the battleground. So I'm in a better position, but I'm still half health, and there's still another rogue chasing me. Combat readiness is still up and I'm able to utilize it as much as possible, but I go in for a gouge in order to assess the situation really quickly. I decided to go in for an 8 second stun and hammer out as much damage on the last rogue as possible by using shadow blades and going in for slice and dice and just generating calm points through sinister strike. I need to get as much of advantage over this rogue as possible within those 8 seconds in order to win this whole 3-1 shebang you can call it. I go in for a smoke bomb in order to deter the shaman be he a resto or ellie from throwing any heals to the rogue. I get gauged, uh, gauged but there's not really much you can do at this point. He's low on health and all it is for me is about finding him and throwing into him as many sim strikes as possible in order to finish him off. Thank you guys for watching this video. This is literally the breakdown that I had of this whole 3v1 experience. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys learned maybe a thing or two, maybe some tips and hints and tricks that uh, I personally follow. Thank you guys for watching this video. This has been Dalaran. I'll see you guys.